What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we're going to be taking a look at what's new Monday or what's coming Monday. We do know obviously that we are going to be getting the big update quite soon. Whether or not that big update is good or not, we don't know yet. We don't know when it's going to drop. It's looking like it's going to be the last week of August or the first week of September. And that's just based on what else is in the game here. You've got 24 days left in this 777 pack. So that'll kind of bring us up to the first week of September or the last week in August there. So we're kind of just going off that really and kind of trying to kind of guess. You get, Again, you have those two packs that are going to be in, ending on 24 days as well. So yeah, let's see what happens. Obviously, this is going to be released. A new pack for this is going to be on Thursday with this as well, which are the nominating contracts. That might take a break then or there might be one more. I'm guessing that it's going to be summer transfers. This is what I think is going to happen here. But anyway, on for today, right? We do know that the bullet header showtime is still ongoing. This is your last chance to get the English pack, which is David Beckham, Gerrard and Lampard. And that is going to be replaced with this pack that we are seeing right here over on eFootballDB. So they've added an English league selection midfielders pack. And this is where you can see it here. Tonali, you've got Bailey, you've got Casemiro, you've got Vieira, you've got McNeil, Phillips. You've got a couple of other boys here as well. And I think that this is going to be a pretty average pack. I mean, especially Casemiro. We've had a lot of versions of him. But even if you're comparing it with the Beckham pack, right? Usually what they do in these packs here, and it's it's kind of more about the legends. Obviously, it's always going to be about the legends. But this pack here, it does have some nice players if you are looking to get something a little bit different. I know a lot of people wanted Tony and Declan Rice and Manu. This guy, Manu here, has got 30 levels. He's fairly decent, but... It is all about legends, and this week, it looks like we are going to be getting brand new legends. So, Gareth Bale has been added to the database uh, with his stats. Now, there's a couple of disappointing things about Bale, and there's a couple of really exciting things about Bale. If you are into the cards, and if you are looking for a new card, obviously, it's the first time Bale has come as a legend card. He's a new kind of player, or a young player. I mean, he could potentially still be playing, you know what I mean? He's not that old, but he is back as a legend. So, similar to the likes of Philip Lamb, are those kind of players that, you know, haven't retired that that long ago, or Jack Wilshire? Bale is back as a booster here. Now, 33 levels, it looks like he might either have 31, 33, or 35 levels. This is just a placeholder with the card until he's, you know, the server is updated tomorrow. But the big disappointing thing about this Garrett Bale, as for me, is the fact that he's a creative playmaker. Now, what does this mean? Well, it just means that his runs out wide are going to be a little bit skewed. Player ID is a big part of the game now, um, especially the, the fact that you can only control one player at one time, right? So if you've got a prolific winger, he's going to handle a lot different than a Roman flank, you know, or a Roman flank is going to ha handle a lot different than a creative. So does that mean that Bale is going to be played in a more central role and that you should play him as an attacking midfielder? Well, he looks like an unbelievable attacking midfielder, even though the passing skill is not there or the passing skills and stats aren't there to back that up. But he does look like he could be a very, very nice stat card. Now, what I mean by stat card is that he's going to have some excellent stats across the board, depending on what booster he gets, right? It looks like his speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina booster would be the ones that he gets. So it, it just depends how you want to train him up. I definitely think he'll be a little bit meta at the start, but it just depends on where you're at with the cards. I mean, it's hard to get really excited for the cards right now when eFootball 25 is just around the corner. And they'll probably be bringing re-releases of these cards. You know, Maldini, Puyol, Bale, Wiltshire, Maradona, Neymar, Ronaldo. All these legend cards will be coming back with new cards in eFootball 25. That we can be sure of. Also in this pack, we do have Darren Fletcher. Again, just like uh, sim similar to Garrett Bale and just like Garrett Bale. Fletcher, you know, not retired that long. One of the newer kind of legend boosters. These are not legend cards, so to speak. I call them legends, obviously, because they're the old school legend cards uh, of, you know, non-current players, current day players. Um, but Fletcher is down as a booster. These are specific moments and iconic moments in their career of a specific time or a specific match or a specific period in the player. And it's replicated in card form with a specific booster. So you can see that Fletcher here is going to be down as a box to box or uh, sorry, as a destroyer in the DB. But he looks like he's going to handle like a kind of a defensive destroyer or a defensive box to box because he does have fairly OK offensive awareness without giving him anything really into it. Only eight into decks. And then also he's going to have very nice defensive stats as well. Like this is a very solid destroyer with nearly maxed out defensive engagement. His speed and acceleration and balance is very poor. But that doesn't really come into it if you're using him as kind of like a double pivot with an anchorman. 
And then last but not least, it looks like it's going to be the Arsenal man, Rosicky. So we've got Bale, we've got Fletcher, and we have got Rosicky as well. The Arsenal man, the Tottenham man, and of course the Manchester United man. So the three clubs into one pack. And also this guy is going to probably have more than 27 levels just at the database at the moment. Not too sure who's going to get, you know, booster or, you know, what booster they're going to get. He's down as creative as well. He's down as an AMF. Now, I'll be honest, right? There is an abundance of AMFs in the game that are just way too overpowered. I don't think Riziki is going to scratch that itch or going to change the dial too much. But he does have nice stats. Tight possession, balance, acceleration, speed, all where you want him to be. Shooting isn't there for an attacking midfielder, and that's probably going to hold him back a little bit. But... Let me know what you guys think. That is what's coming Monday. Let me know what you guys think if you're going to be spinning for Bale or not. Other than that, I will catch you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe.